So let's do this uh, mechanism here. So here you see we have a terminal alkyne, specifically one hexyne, and we're going to do a two-step process to it. First, we're going to add sodium amide and ammonia, and then after that intermediate's formed, we're going to add bromobutane to our solution. Okay, so let's. Why don't we draw the mechanism? Do you want to draw the mechanism or just show the product? Mechanism. Okay, cool. Let's do it. The first step of the mechanism is going to be reacting this terminal alkyne. So remember, terminal alkynes oftentimes are very reactive on that um, terminal proton there. And especially if you've got a strong base, like the amide anion. So I'm going to put its lone pairs on there. It's got a negative charge. Notice I didn't put the sodium atom in that step, mechanistic step. Why? Because it's a spectator on it. It isn't going to participate in this part of the reaction, okay? Or any of the reactions. So what's going to happen? What kind of reaction is this going to be? Yeah, an acid base reaction, right? Does everybody agree with that? Our Bronsted acid base, yeah, that would work too. Okay. It's going to deprotonate like that. We got to have a second arrow. Is everybody okay with doing that? So, notice, we, our um, solvent for this reaction was ammonia. Look what we're making here. Ammonia, okay? So that's why it's a pretty good solvent for this particular reaction. So, so we have that negative charge there now. We have that. And if you want to, you can say we've made a bunch, which is the salt. So that's the intermediate. That's the end of the first step. That's the product of the first step, the intermediate of the two steps. This um, uh, is an anion, which is a good nucleophile. Yeah, very good. Okay, so what are we going to add to this? Right, we're going to add to it. We haven't done the second step yet. We haven't put it in there, right? So we're going to add a good electrophile to this. Okay, so some things that are good electrophiles would be like a primary alkyl halide, okay? So that's a, what we're going to add to this one. Um, it was bromobutane, right? One two, three, four. Like that. So if you want to, you've got to remember that this has got to attack from the back side, okay? So, no, it's back side attack. This is an SN2 reaction, okay? It's not an addition at all. It's a substitution. Okay, so do you guys see the back side attack? It's attacking from the back side of that bromine.
question? This must be a backside attack. It has to be a backside attack. Yeah, it has to be a back. This has to be a backside because this is an SN2 reaction, and those have to be. Okay, because that's where the antibonding orbital is. Yeah. On the right hand side? Uh huh. Does it matter which way the particles go? Like how the how the how the wing is kind of pointing up and this wing is pointing down? No, it doesn't matter at all. It's just confirmation of isomers. Like if I were to want to twist this one down to looking like that, it's totally cool. Okay. The one thing about this you want to remember is that this is 180 degree bond angle, so you want to kind of keep that in a straight line. Okay. Are there any other questions before we kill it? Question? Yep. Okay.